Good morning to all my beautiful viewers out there. Now, it is currently 10.30, so now's the time, if any, to talk about if I copped or dropped the recently released Der Schutze Astro V2 hoodie. Yes, guys, so this morning, we've got to do another episode of Copped or Dropped, the series where I talk about my experiences when trying to go for a piece of clothing, a sneaker release, a whole collection. I mean, I've never gone for a whole collection. Come on, I'm not bowling out here. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about it. What was the piece that I went for last, no, this morning? Oh my God, this morning, it was this morning. Okay, so the Der Schutzer UV Reflective Astro V2 hoodie. Now we discussed it in the previous, or well, actually, no, it was two Der Schutzer videos ago. We talked about it there. It was the first release of Der Schutze for the decade, for the year, their first 2020 release. It, it, people were very mixed about it, I gotta say, in the comment section below. A lot of people, and I it, I feel the same way, a lot of people seem to be going after, after the um, brand's embroidered box logo art hoodies. Totally understandable, totally understandable. They are my favorite pieces as well. I would easily tell you that all of the embroidered pieces are up here and all of the printed pieces well, they're not down here, they're still up here, but they're not they're not as high up, you know? They're, they're still good, and we discussed that in the comment section. We did say that they are still good, but give me an embroidered hoodie release versus a printed hoodie release, I'm always going to go with the embroidered one. So a lot of people were hit or miss on this release to start off with. Now, what was special about the Astro V2 hoodie? It was the first piece that Der Schutzer has released that has anything to do with UV reflectiveness. From what I know, from what I know, ever since I started copying them to now, it's been the only piece they've done with like UV reflective stuff. That's the, it's the only piece that I've ever seen so far. Um, there might've been like an archive piece from like two years ago um, that I, I, I don't know, that may have released that had UV reflectiveness on it and I just didn't know. But it's the only one that I know of so far. Uh, it was a white hoodie with a little piece of artwork on the chest in, of course, a box logo that had an astronaut fighting a squid monster. Uh, I think there was a um, spaceship in the background and a planet in the background. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool art piece. Um, I was interested in it because I don't actually own any UV reflective clothing. Um, a lot of people that own UV reflective clo clothing own uh, Chinatown market pieces. I don't actually own any Chinatown market, even though I have talked about them on the channel before. Um, and I also, again, don't own any UV reflective pieces. So I could have just killed two birds with one stone and bought a Chinatown market UV reflective piece, right? Yeah. I suppose, I suppose, I suppose. But in saying that, for my first ever UV reflective piece, I was kind of interested in making it a Der Schutzer piece, you know, because I love the quality of their hoodies. Their 100% cotton hoodies are insane for the price point that they ask for. Honestly, it's out of this world. If you guys have don't like own any Der Schutzer hoodies, or this is your first time hearing about the brand, this is the first video. Hello, subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, their hoodies insane quality for the 64 pounds that they asked for and i think that's what really made people a little bit you know hit or miss was that they're asking the same price for the uv reflective hoodies to the embroidered hoodies that sometimes come with special attributes like you know the glow in the dark police volume one um the dream hoodie with its um oh my god lenticular print if that's what it's called i honestly can't remember <laughs> but yeah it was the same price as the um, other hoodies, so a lot of people are like, eh, I'm not as excited, so I might wait. Totally fair enough. Totally fair enough. You all have your own personal opinions. I totally understand that. Let me know in the comment section below on the reason why you either skipped or copped the hoodie. Now, let's dive into it. So, I did attempt to try and get this hoodie. I was interested. It's 2020. I want to start the year off right with a nice little Schutzer release. <laughs> Hey, right? it's a smart move, right? So, um, that means that I had to wake up before 4am on Tuesday, which is today, the 21st. I keep forgetting that it is today, that, uh, that me waking up that early means that I also have to wake up again for today. So, um, yeah, Tuesday the 21st, in Australian time, it drops at 4am. Um, thank, I gotta say, thank you to Der Schutzer that posts on their Instagram page um the countdown timer 
to when their drops happen because that means regardless of what time zone you guys are in you can always find out when the drop actually happens where does the drop actually happen on their online store you can't actually access any further than their um, countdown page when they're doing a drop on their actual page so you'll know it's their page because there'll be a countdown timer on it as well so I uh, set some alarms 350 355 I woke up numerous times in the night I think my body knew what was going on it was like you know what it's that time of the year again, isn't it? It's time to wake up really early in the morning to pick up a hoodie. <laughs> and yep, so I woke up at 3.50 and oh man, I woke up and I was like, is this worth it, man? Is this hoodie gonna be worth it? And I was like, you know what? If I've woken up at 3.50, I've got to go all the way. I can't stop now. I'm literally T minus 10 minutes until the release. So let's do it. Let's go for it. So... Sitting on this computer, browsing through Instagram, come on, bra browsing through Instagram as you do, you know, you're going through it, you're seeing what's up, seeing, I, replying to comments that you guys put during the middle of the night that I obviously would have been asleep and not been able to reply to, so I replied to a couple of you comments there, um, and then when it finally, when there were three seconds left on the Der Schutzer website, counting down to the release, I refreshed the page, so it instantly refreshes me onto the page to cop. Now, instantly. Bam, I'm on the page, I see the hoodie. There's two options when you hover over the hoodie. There's an eye symbol and a bag symbol. I don't care about the eye symbol at all. I don't want to see the hoodie. I've been talking about the hoodie on the YouTube channel. I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only, to buy. <laughs> so the bag option it was. Instantly takes you to a page, what size you want. The biggest size you got. I'm a big guy, I need the biggest size. Give me an extra large. So I selected the extra large. It, it, like, it, the navigation is really weird. It puts you on a page where like um, all the details that you meant to fill in are like down the bottom. So you've got to scroll all the way up. It's just, it, it's kind of awkwardly set out. So you're going to have to scroll to the bottom, enter all your details. Why do I hop on the computer to cop it instead of just waking up and going on my phone? That's because I like the easy use of Google autofill on the computer. I literally just clicked on the first name section, autofill, all my details. Went to the next one, which was, I assumed the billing address, clicked the first name option, put D in for Daniel, autofilled the options. Bam, I've autofilled both sections that would take forever to answer on this phone. Now, I think I know, I think there's the thing that um, Google autofill is on the Google Chrome app. I don't know, I'm too far gone where I'm like, you know what, I have to do it on the computer with Google Autofill, I can't trust my phone. I don't know, that's just me, maybe just a boomer on the phone over here, but I don't know, I feel safer copying on the computer, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, because the success rate has been pretty good so far, so we'll leave it at that. So, Autofill the details, and ask for the payment section, PayPal, easiest thing to do, you just click it, PayPal, it's basically just click a button saying, yep, go pay with PayPal. PayPal is like all logged in, all ready to go. Payment went through, money's been sent off. I'm gonna assume this was done. This was all done in less than a minute, by the way. Because of Google Autofill, I literally did it in under a minute. It was still 400 on the clock when I was autofilling all those details and stuff. I was done by 401. Usually the hoodies sell out within like three to five minutes. As soon as the money had been sent off through PayPal though, bam. Auto confirmation. So your boy got one. <laughs> I'm I'm super happy. I'm su I'm super happy. I'm. It's my first Dan Schutzer white hoodie. Um, I know a lot of people don't like white hoodies in general, but I'm keen to get a high quality, 100% cotton white hoodie, man. Especially when it's as comfy. If it's if it's as comfy as all the black ones that I've got at the moment, that would be sick. So yes. To sum it up, I did manage to cop one. It was an easy process. I I quickly checked um, Del Schutz's Instagram post about the uh, Astro V2 hoodie. Everyone, well not everyone, a lot of people in the comment section were like, oh man, it got, it got botted, wow, trash website. Ignore them. Ignore them, guys. Ignore them, because they're wrong. They instantly, they must have like logged onto the website at 10 past 4, or well, like, 10 minutes past the drop time, and then it sold out. They were like, where we got botted. If you're there, when it drops, when you if you Google autofill everything, and then you click PayPal, you're gonna have no issue. I, I'm, I guarantee you, no issue buying the hoodie before it even hits 401. Well, whatever your time zone is. For me, it's 401. <laughs> but yeah, no, 100%. If you autofill your stuff, PayPal it, 
no issues no issues whatsoever at all to, like disregard anyone in the comment section of an instagram post saying you got the botted hell tag me in it mention my video i will prove them wrong because it works every single time every single time i have tried to go for a dead shots or hoodie and have had the money in my account ready to go worked every time no issues except for probably the early days where it was the website crashed a few times but that didn't stop me from copying it, it when i had the money in my account and i auto filled everything it still worked so still 100 percent sex uh sex rate a success rate i've had no issues with it i've had no issues with it. people that say that's botted nah don't believe you sorry it's worked out every single time for me full doubt on that one and the worst part i gotta say the worst part is when i was reading the comment section of the there should a post about that it's available now half the comments are like Wanting to sell this size, wanting to sell that size, wanting anyone want to buy this one. And it's like, come on, man, really? The brand's already getting, like, resellers on it. I knew that was a thing, but it wasn't until I scrolled through the comments and read it that I was like, God damn it. God damn it. Like, I, I understand it. Every Like, everyone's on the grind. Everyone's out here to make a buck. But, like... It's sad to see a brand that I really just want everyone to get pieces to enjoy, to be seen um, being bought out, being bought to sell out, to be made for a profit. You know, they're buying the pieces, it sells out, but they're buying the pieces not for the love of the brand and not to wear it, but to sell it off to other people to make money. You know, I mean, that's just sad because I want the people that actually want the hoodies to wear them to get them. You know, I don't want people that just buy it to be like, ha ha. I can make $20 off this. I don't want that. I don't want that. You know, I want people to enjoy it. I don't know. A little rant about resellers real quick. <laughs> but that's how I feel. Yeah, it's kind of bummed. I'm kind of bummed out about that scrolling through. So to sum it up, the Devil Shorts are Instagram posts. It's people complaining about bots. It's people trying to sell off their hoodies. Dumb comment section. I mean, when isn't the comment section pretty dumb? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not ours. Not ours, though. On the channel, our comment section has been pretty good. It's been pretty good. But yes, to sum it all up, Easy copying experience, did it in less than a minute, auto filled everything, PayPal it, done, got the order confirmation, it's all good. Uh, it's probably going to take close to a month for it to actually get to me, so we'll probably do an unboxing video, I'm going to say early February, I'm because it takes them like almost a week for them to finalize all the orders and then ship them off. And then the shipping, because I live in Australia, you know, the island in the middle of nowhere, um it takes the the longest time almost two weeks so it's about three weeks close to a month um and because it's already the 21st i'm gonna say yeah it's gonna be early february um which means i might get it when i'm at the music festival that i'm going to so that'll be interesting that'll be interesting but we'll have to see we'll have to see i'll definitely unbox it on the channel for you guys when i get it i'm super keen to get it i wanted to see if i mean I have no doubts that the hoodies are going to be the exact same quality, if not even better, than um, the previous ones that I've copped. Amazing quality. Super keen to get it. I'm um, super keen to get my first ever UV reflective piece, actually. I, I mean, I've got a window right here. I could just put it in the light for a second and then bring it over and, hey, we'll see it, you know, fill with color. That'll be kind of cool. But, yeah, no, I'm actually really keen to get it. Um, I'm also really keen to see the next drop. So, uh, for the next Del Schutzer videos, I am going to be covering... Um, any samples they post on their Instagram story if they post a sample on the Instagram story and I don't see it or I don't make a video about it someone send it to me someone save it for me because yeah I'll definitely make a video about it like we did with the recent um, light up hoodie sample that was a sick sample if you want to see the sample that I'm talking about the light up hoodie that they posted on their Instagram story I made a video about it it'll be in the description section below but yeah no absolutely crazy um, I'll obviously cover any of the new upcoming releases. I'm keen to see what they're going to release in 2020. Hopefully, the next hoodie is going to be an embroidered hoodie. I would be very, very keen to pick up another embroidered hoodie. Um, maybe, in a, maybe another white embroidered hoodie. Maybe Rainy Day Hoodie Part 2, you know? Um, I'm, I'm not getting sick of black embroidered hoodies, but I wouldn't mind a little bit more colour. Change it up a little bit. But anyway, we'll have to see what we get. Maybe it'll be a crew neck sweater for once. That would be a cool change. Anyway, so yes, 
we copped it easy copping experience comment section of their shots of posts are really sad <laughs> and that's it let me know what you guys went through when trying to cop the Der Schutzer Astro V2 hoodie. I was going to say this morning, but I don't know if it's this morning for everyone else's time zone. Let me know how it was for you, either on Instagram, either on Twitter, either on Facebook, either in the comment section below. Let me know all of the thoughts and opinions on the copying experience that Der Schutzer has to offer in the comment section below. Whew, sorry, there was actually more to say about that release, if anything. I think that's just because it's the first release of 2020 for Del Schutze, and it's their first ever UV reflective piece. So we did have, I, well, I mean, I had a lot to say about it. <laughs> I mean, there is, come on. It, it's a pretty big piece. Um, it, as I said, first ever for many things of this year, of this decade, UV reflective. But, I mean, who knows? This may not be its last. We may see more UV reflective pieces in the future. I'm going to say I doubt it because I don't think it's as popular as the, obviously, the embroidered hoodies, which is why we're all here. <laughs> well, maybe not all of us, maybe not all of us, but it's why, I, it's primarily why I'm here. It's primarily why I'm here. I, I, I'm a big sucker for their embroidered hoodies. <laughs> well, I'd be, I'm, I'm very keen to see what they also come out with in 2020 with their embroidered hoodies as well. But those were my experiences with the Derek Schutzer release. Don't, I'm going to say it now, don't believe anyone that says, it got super botted, man. It's super easy to cop. You be there when it releases, on the dot. You Google autofill, you PayPal, you're done. You got it. It's easy. Don't stress. Don't stress. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, I'm very keen for the next drop. I'm, I can't wait to see what they're going to release. I'm definitely going to cop it. Well, I don't want to say that. Okay, I'm very inclined to cop it if it is an embroidered hoodie, but we'll just have to see. They haven't announced anything yet. I will definitely cover it in another video when they announce it. So, don't forget, if you want to watch any of the other previous Dale Schutzer videos, they'll be in the description section below. So will the socials as well. If you want to come shout at me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, it'll all be down below. Um, and that has been my copped or dropped experiences on the Dale Schutzer Astro V2 hoodie. So until the next streetwear video, guys, until the next Dale Schutzer video, till the next sneaker video, I'll catch you later.